It wasn't really anything beforehand or anything else to go into it. It was just the main event. Hikaru Shida. Uh, Hikaru Hikaru Shida versus Tony Storm for the AEW Women's World Championship. I see. I'm still just flustered over the fact that I may not get Adam Cole. Um, <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, so, what did you? Uh, what were your actual thoughts on this match? Like, so going into it, I felt like it was the obvious. Going to be a good match, solid match, at least solid enough considering how much the Outcast will interfere. And yeah, yeah well, the match was solid. I don't feel yeah. like it was anything special. That was uh that was pretty that was pretty much where I thought of it. Um as per usual, matches involving outcasts can be great, but there's just too much interference and it ends up being just all right. But um but every time I see Sheeta, I'd remember how good she is. And I was saying that during this match t- to you, I remember I was like, man, like she just always gone so long that I forget how good she is when I see her again. And I'm like, oh man, she does the shit. Like She's so good. I wonder if we should have maybe thought more of it because they were making a pretty big deal throughout the show about how she was a champion before. But it was during the pandemic era, and it was such a shame and everything. They they weren't just treating her like a former champion and like giving her right. that kind of respect. They were very much pointing out that she never got yeah, she to never, be a champion in front of people. Yeah, she never got the TV reign. So yeah, I guess we didn't we didn't pick up on those little hints there. But but how how do you expect somebody to do that when? She shows she's up gone once every for, three months. Yeah, she's gone for three months at a time. You like want twice a year at least. You want to know something else that I didn't think about, but it kind of makes sense. She's pandemic champion, right? Yeah. Where are they Friday? Yeah, they in they back in Davis place. So I don't I don't know if That's they'll ever the... do anything on it because you know it's that after. Well, usually it's taped after Dynamite. There's things that we definitely saw tonight that makes sense that it couldn't be just something taped after Dynamite this week. So maybe she'll get to appear in some kind of way. I don't know. Maybe. It's only an hour. They they did have quite a bit on it already. And I feel like you know, it's her first reign on TV. You gotta give her a little Give her a little something. I mean, yeah, her English isn't great, but you find you figure out a way to give her some time. Well, not only that, but at, you, you, we talk about her English, but at the same time, I remember in the what very brief be. time that she was last consistently relevant before, like when they were first starting the homegrown versus outcast kind of stuff, right? Mm-hmm. And Surya first shows Tony, like she was in talking pieces. Like almost yeah. every single week for a bit there, and yeah, that's what I mean. She her English is good enough. It's just it's you know it's not great. It's but it is good enough for her to have a segment, and they'll you know they find some kind of way. Somebody will interrupt or something like that, just to help out a little bit. And honestly, with what it is and on rampage, and considering it's just like a celebration, you don't even have to interrupt it. She could just have like one of those quick things where. She wants to go out there for a few minutes and say, like, along the lines of what I was saying was like, hey, I get to start shaping ship brain in front of people. And I'm so glad that the first time I get to show it off is right back here at home kind of thing. It can be cheesy. I think it'll be I think her her uh, yay, I'm champion will be like a quick whooping of somebody's ass next week or something. I feel like she's going to be that that champion where she's just like, yeah, I'm a champion. Now I'm whooping ass. But the big reason I put this as like my bad thing of night was just the roadmap of where to go leading into two different pay-per-view events. Mm-hmm. 
one at the end of this month and one the week after. Like, how? where do you so, go with this? Especially because for so long it seemed kind of obvious we should run a, a person from overseas, maybe a UK person or someone who has roots over there in Wembley. Mm -hmm. So I actually have an idea that I don't like myself, but uh -oh. I feel like would work. If it's someone if one that you say you don't like yourself, I have a feeling of where you're going with this. You already know who I'm talking about, because I do not like watching Serrera at all, but... It does make sense. But it makes perfect sense. Like, she gets the run back to avenge Tony at home. Like, I feel like if it is Soraya, then you keep the belt on Sheeta, though. But at the very least, that would that would be hype for Wembley. Yeah. Wembley. If that's the match, Soraya wins. Then it also makes sense because that means Sheeta could disappear again for three more months. All she has to do is give us one month. No, don't do that. The only no. saving grace would be is if no. Jamie Hayter returns at the end of that match. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like that could also be a thing, but it sounds like from what all the wrestling news people are saying is she's gone for a while, like nowhere near coming back. I knew that they said there was not, that she was going to get cleared for it. I was just kind of hoping maybe she'll be far enough along that you can, mm -hmm. can then kind of tell the story for like a few weeks to a month without her yeah. actually wrestling. Yeah, because yeah, that would be that would make for a huge moment to have her come back and be like, Soraya, bitch, you're mine, and you don't book when I'm clear. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. I mean, that's how Soraya started off. She got into it with uh, Britt Baker for like a month yeah. before she revealed she was cleared. Yeah, but you don't book so. Wembley, an international pay per view, Wembley big ass stadium and don't prepare for major moments yeah so like I said I think the biggest match that they can do is Sheeta Soraya don't want to see it but I have to admit to myself that that is definitely the biggest thing they can do like being Just, over there, I feel like the three biggest things that they could do in terms of making that crowd go crazy would be one, unfortunately, Saray winning. If they can do it, especially if they can do a decent feud leading up to it. Two would be Jamie returning, even if she doesn't get physical right away. Three would be Brian Danielson has an open challenge. Which I'm not sure if his arm will be ready. There's no way his arm will be ready in time. And then Nigel may get us answers it. <laughs> Nigel McGinnis. Yeah, see, I don't even know about Nigel McGinnis, the wrestler. I only know about him in his few weeks of, of commentary for Collision. She is the champion. What I want, this is for me, is I want Jade to come back and immediately go for that belt i don't care what if it doesn't make any sense i need jade back right now <laughs> jade interject 